Understanding compressed gas cylinder markings. Knowing how to find the testing date on your compressed gas cylinders and understanding their other markings are essential if you use them for research. Compressed gas cylinders are stamped to denote certain specifications, such as how the cylinder was made, the unique serial number, the date the cylinder was made, the owner of the cylinder, when the cylinder was last tested, and more. The neck ring displays the name of the current owner or manufacturer of the cylinder. As you can see on this cylinder, it was manufactured by MG Technical Products. The data label should be visible on all compressed gas cylinders and indicate the cylinder's contents. It also tells you what hazards are associated with the cylinder. This is a cylinder with nitrogen and it is a non-flammable. Never rely on the color of the cylinder to identify the contents. Always read the cylinder label and safety data sheet to identify cylinder contents, hazards, properties, and other safety related information of the gas cylinder. Different compressed gas cylinder manufacturers and distributors have different color schemes for their products. If the data label is missing, that cylinder should not be used. Contact the distributor immediately. Most Iowa State University researchers on campus do not own their compressed gas cylinders, as this would be very expensive and require the researchers to conduct or contract out their own hydrostatic testing. Researchers can rent cylinders from ISU chemistry stores for about $10 per month as of 2024, in addition to the cost of the cylinder contents. Gas cylinders must be tested periodically to ensure the safety of those who transport, fill, and use them. Markings on the cylinder indicate the frequency of required testing. For example, a five-pointed star indicates that the next test is required in 10 years. Lab personnel must return the cylinder to the distributor, such as chemistry stores, or the manufacturer for testing according to the date markings on the cylinder. Suppose you see only one date marked on the cylinder. This is the date it was manufactured and first tested. This cylinder was manufactured and tested for the first time on March of 1955. Typically a cylinder should be tested every five years, but this can vary depending on the composition of the cylinder and the contents stored. If you see more than one date stamp, these are the retest dates of the cylinder. The format for retest marking is month, facility, year, plus rating, star stamp. The plus symbol or the plus rating suggests the cylinder qualifies for 10% overfill. For the cylinder, seven retests were done. May of 1962, May of 1969, August of 1992, June of 1998, October of 2008, May of 2014, and the last test date was November of 2021. Since there is no star symbol associated with the last test date, this cylinder will be due for retesting in 2026. You will also find other stamps on your compressed gas cylinder. The alphanumeric number that starts with DOT indicates Department of Transportation, the governing agency that put forward the gas cylinder transportation regulations in the United States. You might also notice ICC, Interstate Commerce Commissions for older U.S. cylinders. Additionally, you might come across other markings, such as CTC for Canadian cylinders, that indicate the regulatory Canadian authority under which the cylinder was manufactured. The next set of numbers specifies the type of material used for construction. For example, 3AA or 3A means steel, and 3AL means aluminum. Next, you will find the rated pressure in pounds per square inch. Here, it is 2,260 PSI. That tells you the operating pressure of this compressed gas cylinder is 2,260 pounds per square inch. Then you will see the serial number of the cylinder. You might also see a few other stickers of barcodes that indicate batch numbers and such that distributors have on the cylinders. For more information about gas cylinders, check out the Gas Cylinder Safety Guidelines manual linked below. If you have questions, please contact ISU EHNS.